Yay! There we go. It works. Yep. It was actually. Dude, uh, why is my mic so quiet? What the fuck? Because it's stinky. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully. Still not used to black curum. <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly enough, oh. I had both versions at one point or another. Oh yeah, that's right. Also, I have croutons. Mm. I. Do you ever eat croutons just like on their own? I I don't eat salad. Ah, see, I do like salad, but I do like eating croutons just just on their own. I don't have it. I had some carrots earlier, but you know. Salad is gross. I I love salad. Just keep in mind that that's coming from a person who has like the diet of the average, like six year old. I was gonna say five year old, but you know what? Six year old's funnier for some reason. <laughs> Join Avenue. I have made some progress on this because not the days where I don't record. Ooh. Yeah. It was like three weeks ago. <laughs> oh my god, has it really been three weeks? Fuck. Yep. I took a bit of a break from doing anything content related. Fair. Why did that go up by 150? Damn! The hell? Okay. Rank 5. Yep, yeah, we'll take it. Mm. I have a <laughs> okay. I have a sitting near me. I have this little speaker. It's a Bluetooth speaker. Mm. It's specifically meant to be just like stuck on the wall in the shower for music. I got it for Christmas, <laughs> and it's shaped like a snail. Hmm. And I like this because I get to make the reference to um, a snail that's in in San Aquarium, which is named Stinky. <laughs> Stinky the snail. <laughs> it's the first pet you get. Um, I, have you played in San Aquarium? I have not. I've um like because like I'm, I've had people uh, recommend it to me. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, and I'm one of them. <laughs> because, dude. In San Aquarium was my fucking ch I love the ha 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 ha. <laughs> One. I just picture I just picture like a gremlin they laugh every fucking time and it's so funny like <laughs> Milady. Milady. Look, like, oh, shh, my fucking eye is itching. Blah. I am gonna do the sports battles oh. again. I probably Ooh. don't need to. But it's funny. And also, because yeah, this section is going to be really fucking long. Man, I should have grabbed myself a fucking soda. Do I want to do that right now? Or do I want to work on a fan- I need to work on a fan page post. You know, I need to send Kane a specific photo. I I shouldn't be lollygagging. I told him I'd send him it. Hmm. Cause... Why don't you get a soda and then work on the picture? Yeah. I think I'll send Kane the photo, get a soda, then work on a fan page post. Because the photo, I just was, like, messaging with him. And I mentioned it, and I'm like, well, now I gotta, like, get this out of the way. ASAP. Gotta drink the conch or Beepus or... What? Uh, bootleg like Dr. Beep Pepper. You. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a few differences. I have Pepsi. I have, um, n a generic cola from Kroger. If it's generic, just... Assume it's from Kroger, for me. Mm. Um, and then we have a uh, lemon lime, uh, Dr. K, because you know Kroger. Um, generic Mountain Dew, which funny story about the generic Mountain Dew. Okay, ah oh, fuck, I forgot to tell Lulu this story earlier. I told her I was gonna, and I just fucking forgot. <laughs> um, we got distracted by the Splatfest, which started today, mm. and we're on the same team. So hey, but um. This j okay, my dad doesn't like Mountain Dew. <laughs> this is relevant. Mm. Because one day, I see him drinking this generic Mountain Dew. I'm like, 
Like, I thought you didn't like Mountain Dew. He's like, it's not Mountain Dew. It's like lemon lime. Like, no, it's not. <laughs> that's not the lemon lime. That's the Mountain Dew. And then he stopped drinking it after that, which was so fucking funny. Yeah. He stopped drinking what the it. Fuck. <laughs> that's fucking jackass. Like, I can't make this up. I stole the soda, by the way. I fucking finished it. It's like, I mean, here's the thing. Ever since I was like five, he even younger liked than that, when I was like, it. yeah, he was Why drinking he it. Throw it away. <laughs> yeah, like he just left it on the counter after that, <laughs> which he didn't even pour it in the sink or throw it away. He just leaves it. Ugh, this is Mountain Dew. No, I'm out. <laughs> yeah, like I, I think I embarrassed him, which honestly, based based, get fucked. <laughs> I have to knock my dad down a peg or two sometimes <laughs> as a treat. <laughs> and you tell Kane that story, he'd find it funny. I don't know. I don't know if Kane likes Mountain Dew, and I need to ask. I want to know if he likes Mountain Dew. I don't. I have so I... really. Yeah, I've never been too big on it. I don't hate it, but oh, it's like a neutral thing. Eh, it, it, it leans on um the more more of like the negative. Fair. With me, I fucking love Mountain Dew. Again, I'm the person who drank five Mountain Dews in one day. I think liking Mountain Dew is an understatement. <laughs> mm. I have, um, like, half a two liter of Dr. Pepper in my fridge, and, like, that's it. Dr. Pepper always goes hard. I have half a two liter of Dr. Pepper and, like, seven eggs. Seven- damn. Something I've taken to doing with eggs is, um... I've started eating toast with them. Because mm. what I used to do is just eat egg white, put the egg yolk in my mouth, pop it there. You know. My mom fucking hated it. I thought, first of all, I could still do it. But second of all, I like grossing people out. This is probably why I was inevitably drawn to Alice Cooper in some shape or form, because of you know, the mm. whole shock rock thing. Wait, but, what does she find gross? Okay, so the way I would eat eggs was I would eat the egg white, which wasn't the gross part. The gross part was me taking the egg yolk, which was still intact because I ate around it, and putting it in my mouth and popping it in my mouth. Mm. And eating it that way. So, like, Pop she it like hated it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, like, so funny. But I've taken to eating it with toast, which means now instead of popping the yolk into my mouth, I actually put on the toast and just eat the toast with it, and sure, the yolk kind of like drips down, but I drip it onto the other egg yolk, because I eat two eggs at once, and then I put that egg yolk on the other piece of toast, and then I lick the plate clean afterwards. Hmm. It's very specific. I may be a little, little neurotic, <laughs> but like... I eat scrambled eggs and nothing else. Oh, scrambled eggs are so good. I love scrambled eggs. Partly because I don't know how to make eggs any other way. Really, side side eight up eggs are hard to fuck up. Hmm. You just kind of let them sit there. True, but this is me we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like my yolks runny. Because here's the thing. The way you, the amount of time you cook an egg, you can, like, make the, oh, the yolk, like, more, like, kind of solid or runny. I like mine runny. Hmm. Love my runny yolk. Like, I don't know why. Like, it just feels right. I haven't really experimented. Mine is mm, pretty solid by the time I'm done. Yeah. Which makes sense. You do not come across as someone who would like runny egg yolk. I used to hate eggs in general. Yeah, exactly. With me, I didn't like... I didn't eat them. I don't know if I disliked them or was just scared to try them, though. Because it's like... The way I am with my... Picking this... I found the photo, I found the photo, I found the photo! I nice. found the photo for him! Ah! Plum, ah! Rah. Can I text? Please! Please! Ha! I did not expect that to one-shot both of them. Right, good god. Really? You're gonna do Moxie twice? They're both gone. Right. Alright, I found the photo. Yay! I got it. I sent it to him. Nice.
as I was saying with the egg thing, um, I don't know if I was like afraid to try it or just didn't like it as a kid. Because hmm. it's like, the thing with me as a kid is it's very 50-50 on what that was. Because with steak as a kid, I never tried it. And then one day, I, I remember I remember it vividly. Um, my dad was at the dinner table in my first house. So this is in Maine. And I remember like the table and everything. I remember the dining room. I remember the, our dog Corky was there. And my dad has always given like table scraps to the dogs. Like not even just table scraps. He'll like share his fucking food with these dogs. Mm -hmm. My dad's an asshole. However, he does care quite a lot about animals. It's very strange. So he has the capacity to care. He just chooses not to care about me, so... <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I saw the steak, and I, you know, I see the dogs enjoy it, and I was like, I've never tried steak. I was like, can I have a piece? So he gives me a piece, I'm like, I'm chewing on it, and like, I remember the face I pulled. I was like, this is a face I pull whenever I'm surprised about liking something. It's just, I kind of sit there looking dumbfounded. My eyes are kind of wide, my eyebrows are furrowed, just like, Kind of like that shocked sort of expression. And my mom was like, I didn't expect you to like it. I'm like, can, can I have some next time around? Can I have a steak? Hmm. And so I did. And that that's how, that that's where it went. Very specific story. Um, if that doesn't show I have a photographic memory, I don't know what does. Hmm. <laughs> I am an extremely picky person. Oh god, same. And like... It's not even the fact that I just refuse to try anything new. For whatever reason, trying new foods have always just- Holy shit, what the fuck. Oh my god. Trying- Shit to say you won't be running out of those anytime soon. But yeah, like, um... <laughs> I've always been heavily averse to, to trying new things. Yeah. Like, it's kind of like- Like, I like actually cannot do it. And this hmm. drives my family crazy. Oh no. But Yes! <laughs> I like it's not something I have a lot of actual control over. Oh no, because I know that feeling all too well. With me it's like I've I've grown a little more ballsy about it as I've gotten older. Like there's certain foods where like there's this one German food that I talked about in this server before, where it's like, you cook a pickle with like, a thin beef steak around it, and it's got like gravy and stuff on it. I don't remember the name, hmm. but I know it's German. Um... But my mom was like, I don't think you're gonna like this. And Ooh, I was like, it's steak in a pickle. I was like, it's steak in a pickle, how could I not like this? Hmm. And I ate it and I liked it, so. <laughs> And my mom was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> cause it's like, it was something my fucking dad recommended and wanted to eat. Cause here's the, my, my dad is like the polar opposite of me in terms of food. He will eat weird fucking shit. Half of the weird shit that gets brought home is because of him. Mm. Like, I'm trying to think of something. He's the kind of guy who will randomly bring home, like, a fucking duck egg for some reason. It's like, what? Why? <laughs> duck eggs! It's like, okay. Which, I have had duck eggs. It's different. That's the That's the weird thing. Is that that actually made me hyper aware of how chicken eggs taste. Because chicken eggs taste, you know, like chicken. You could, especially in the yolk. I've never like had the egg a duck white, egg. The egg white tasted the same, pretty much. It, tasted pretty similar. But then comes the yolk, and that's what's different. Hmm. It's also bigger. The duck egg is bigger, so the yolk is bigger as a result. But I have had duck in such a long time, I don't remember how it tastes. I have had duck before, but I was really young. And this was in my first, hmm. that was in my first house. Young trainer, are you getting enough exercise? No. I'm, <laughs> I, I am. We are polar opposites when it comes to working out. I'm lazy. <laughs> Like, You're lazy, and I'm... <laughs> something. <laughs> like, I try. It's just not for some people. It takes a lot of, like, dedication and effort. And I have none of those things. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then there's me, who is like... Here's the thing. Um... What the fuck? Right, I should finish my tangent on duck eggs. Um, duck eggs taste different than chicken eggs. It's strange, and I don't know how to explain it. But the yolk of a chicken egg tastes like chicken. So the yolk of a duck egg must taste like duck as a result. It's hmm. very strange. But as I was saying about exercise... Whoa! <laughs> no one got experience from this battle. I, 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 I... That is upsetting. What the fuck was that? Oh, I have no words. I have no fucking words. I'm mad. I can't even blame you. <laughs> um. But, uh, my thing with working out was it was started by Bobby Rock. <laughs> um, like, don't get me wrong, I've always, like, wanted to have some muscle. I remember when I was young. Uh, I wanted, like, muscular arms, but I never had, like, the real, like, passion or dedication for it. The reason why I wanted, like, specifically muscular arms was because of Paul Stanley. Hmm. Because he's got, like, the muscular arms. I was like, I want to look like Paul. I mean, I guess I kind of do nowadays, weirdly enough. Um. But, like, once Bobby Rock came around, I was like, yeah, I'll do some fitness stuff. I'd like to be fit, because his whole thing wasn't exactly, like, bodybuilding. As much as is is being fit, hmm. like he's pretty muscular. He works to be muscular, but it's like he wasn't as like intense about it as Kane. So once Kane came around, I went from oh this would be nice to have some a little bit of muscle be fit to I want to look like that. Hmm. <laughs> I want to be big and beefy. So since then, I have worked a lot harder on working out. Which has paid off, it really has. And I sh I keep telling myself I'll take a photo. But with this cane tank top that I ordered, it should show off my arms pretty well. So maybe, you know, everyone will finally see the muscle mass that I have. Hmm. <laughs> Which, dude, I... Okay, did I talk to you about Kane's tank top thing? Like the shirt, new shirt, design, tank top thing. I think you shared it. Yeah, I shared- okay, so I didn't talk about it prior to this. Okay, cool. Which makes sense, because I was keeping it pretty secretive. Kane told me about it before it came out. He told me the design and everything. Mm. <laughs> so when he said- he described it as like, oh, it's got like this like roughed up sort of look, it says Rebel Heart in pink. I was like, Rebel Heart? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Because, like, it's a Saints and Sinners era reference. So, like, now, three different Kane eras have representation in his merch. The classic 80s era, with, you know, his first album in particular. Um, the new normal. Someone just knocked at my door. I will be back. Rip. Well, that is one of the benefits of living alone. No one can knock at the door except, um, well, except my cats when they just decide when they just decide to throw themselves at the door. That's always fun. Well, we're done with that. Now back to Miss Strolton, and let's actually go with the game. We have a bit of a long one tonight. Because uh, the the journey to Gym Seven is very long. I still have a lot of money in the game, not in real life. In real life, I have nothing. Well, I guess we'll just continue with the, uh, with the story. Oh yeah, yeah, I took a couple weeks off. 
Uh... Have I never stopped in here? Really? Okay. Sweets, lovely sweethearts. Check feelings between two people. I have never... I don't think I've ever done that. We don't know a lot about the structure of planes. How can you maintain them? That's not how that works. Actually, that... Actually, I think that is how that works. Is that it? Shiny. The Ace Pilot Medal. That was pointless. You should have given me something. Crobat is with you. Sure. You better give me something in return. I don't work for free! I worked for free! Where can I get quick balls? I think it might be the shopping mall. I'm not sure if I can get them before. We give Skylar her chance. Give Skylar her chance. I don't know why that's not incorrect. But I think it should be give Skyla a chance to show us her piloting skills. This just reads weirdly. Alright, I guess we'll just wait. Uh, I'll, I, I think I'll wait. I'm gonna go get a Dr. Pepper. I'll be right back. Da -da. Okay, you wanna know what the fuck happened? You wanna know what the fuck happened? I was so fucking terrified that someone would walk out of my door and tell me, like, be quiet. No. My baby brother had woken up, went downstairs, he walked downstairs, he didn't fall down the stairs or anything, he walked downstairs, and was in my dad's room. So. Sorry, I went to go get a Dr. Pepper. Yo, I just got myself my Dr. K, too. I've had a... <sighs> I've had a lot of soda today. I've had three cups of Dr. Pepper, and my mom works at a Sonic, and I take advantage of that. I mean, I got a big, I got like a, I got like an extra large Big Red earlier. When I returned, I totally thought you were still here, so I was just talking to nobody. <laughs> you're, you're, you're gonna have to see that in the video. It's so funny. <laughs> um, but what happened was. The reason why someone was knocking on my door. She wants was to because, fly too. Um, my baby brother had woken up and mm. went downstairs and was in my dad's room. Now, it was my youngest, my second youngest brother who was knocking at my door. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I'm like, get yeah, okay, get out of here. I'm gonna try to deal with this. So, mm. um. I look at my dad's room, I see my baby brother sitting there, on the bed. Gizmo's in there. He's growling at me. And I'm just like, Gizmo, this is not the time. I don't want my dad waking up right now. Mm. So, so I opt to walk away, try to lure Gizmo away. I walk, I go to turn around, Gizmo runs back. I walk back there, I look, my dad's sitting up. I'm like, well. Oh, fun. So, I'm just like, oh, you're awake. I'm going to put him back upstairs so mom doesn't have a heart attack later. So I. Gizmo fucking like comes by, he's growling me, grabs a sock. I'm like, if you fucking bite my foot, I'm actually going to fucking kick you at this point, dude. <laughs> like, I'm not in the fucking mood. So I pick up my brother, I go. My dad tells my other brothers to go to bed. Hmm. I get my baby brother upstairs. He goes in the recliner upstairs first. I'm like, uh-uh, you go in that bed. I'm like, kind of like snap my finger and pointing, and he goes. I leave. I, I'm like, well, the basement's like right near this room that my mom has him in. It's upstairs. So like, I'm figuring, oh, I can go grab soda. So I start walking downstairs. I hear my mom wake up. That's not good. So I had to hide in the basement for a minute to like be wary of if she leaves or not. 
And eventually I hear what sounds like someone going down the stairs and leaving. But then I see no sign. It was Gizmo standing on the stairs looking at me like a fucking idiot, wagging his tail. <laughs> I'm like, thanks, asshole. So I take the so I take the soda, I leave, and I'm now I'm back. So <laughs> I have my soda. I can't imagine living with all that chaos, good lord. It sucks. It fucking sucks. I would much rather live on my own or with somebody else. Living you know, like alone Kane. is a fantastic. I would totally recommend it. It's it, fuck, it it's, sounds it, it's fucking expensive though. It sounds fucking amazing, though. I would not mind living with someone that I trust, though. Hmm. Again, like Kane. That'd be nice. I'm still trying to make up my mind, but when my lease expires, I'm... Me and my mom are considering talking of just renting a place together. You know, in, Makes like, sense. in like a sort of like a roommate situation, because my sister... I think is going to live on campus when she goes to... Uh, goes to... College? Why am I struggling to, to figure out the name? It's one of the biggest fucking state colleges ever. Te Texas Tech, good lord. Ah, okay. I love the new areas in this game. The cool areas. Well, two years ago, Zekrom and Reshiram each recognized a trainer as a hero. One of them was me in an alternate right. universe. They're following those and trainers. You know, if I played Black and White 1 before this, that joke would have made perfect sense. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I don't God, know what happened there. Uh, a demon erupted from your stomach, that's what. <laughs> there is much we don't know about Zekka Marshram. I had like a bunch of mini corn dogs like right before this. It might not have been uh, the best thing. Right. Uh, because hot dogs aren't Kinda wreak havoc on your stomach. Uh yeah, I don't like hot dogs. Oh, I should have said no. I like beef ones. I don't like normal ones, but the Ooh, ones that are all beef are like way better. That might explain why I don't eat hot dogs. Cause most of the time we just get the ones that are like, oh, well, all different meats. And I'm like, uh, nah, I don't like it. It's the pork. It's the- I don't- uh, that's what it is. For me, it's If it was just like, chicken and beef, I'd be cool. But for, it's pork. For me, it's the chicken. I- I don't like pork. Like, I really it don't. It adds this weird taste to it that doesn't sit right with me. Ah. With me, it's like, okay. My family had pork chops. And, you know, I- I- I wind up having some leftovers for a hell of a- I'm like, I'm desperate for some fucking food. It's late at night. There's rolls, there's a pork- there's pork chops. I can take a pork chop, couple of rolls, I'll be fine. Oh, I forgot this was one of the spots. Oh my god. Is this Nicole? Oh! Rock is great. Good. 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 Rock Good. is fantastic. The best. Wait, you know... I'm wondering something, because mm -hmm. I remember... Does this use those weird... Um... I'm curious if this uses those questions that you answered all the way back in Castelia. <gasps> oh my god, wait, you might be right! It, because, like, those serve no purpose in-game, in the original. That might be it. That might be it. Holy shit. Because Rock was capitalized. Yeah, weirdly cap- I noticed, I was like, what the fuck is the deal there? I'll have to look that up. But yeah, I don't like pork. Because every time I've had pork, aside from, like, bacon and ham. <laughs> Sometimes ham. But, you know. I was born here and will die here. Lenimus Town <laughs> is a country town. Not a mic, because I don't know anywhere else. Okay. The, um, pork chops are always fucking dry. Hmm. I don't know why. Like, every time I've had them, they're dry. You spoke to me, therefore you're a good trainer, even though I've never known you. Here, take this right. kind of shitty electric TM. Just like, amazing. 
I was looking up like, where to get Thunderbolt, and I thought you could buy it at, like, the mall. Because, oh. And, A lot of games do that, yeah. And fun fact, Magnezone can't learn Thunderbolt naturally. He can learn it through TM. Do you know where you get Thunderbolt in this game? Is it post-game? Victory Road right before the Pokemon League. Oh my god. He learns that fucking sucks. He learns discharge at level 51. That Oh, that's horrible. So I'm kind of stuck with this kind of not great move set for a while. That wonderful. I forgot how little good skill type moves there are in Well, just in general. <laughs> right? Oh, that is fucking horrible. But yeah, I can do bacon. I can I do ham. I love bacon. Bacon is pretty good. Ham, like, if I, just, I could get tired of ham. That's the problem. I can tolerate ham to a degree. Yeah, I like the bone marrow. I do love some pork, though. I love bone marrow. Are you going to check the volcano? So I will go to the volcano, but there is one I little side area that I want to do first. Oh yeah, can't you get Heatran? You can I play know your it's cards in, right with a certain item. Uh, it's in post game. I, I think it just appears in post game. Yeah, because no like Bianca's mouse. like uh. Bianca's like, oh, here's this ore, and then and then you can get it. I really like this track, and it appears nowhere else in the game. Aww. There that is... guy was chasing you. Oh. Yeah. Double battle. <laughs> you know, if I didn't have a full team, I actually might be tempted to get Drapion. Drapion is cool, but it has a bad shiny. There is one little side area I want to check out. Something cool. Hey, <laughs> Drip Glim. Not gonna I lie, I'm cry. tempted. Ooh. But no. Driftlet is a solid Pokemon. I remember it having a good move set or move pool rather. Mm. My bad. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and um, yeah. Like I know that a, uh, yeah. Like um, uh, I know that a uh, Driftlet has a pretty good move set, and Aftermath is actually really good. Oh God, yeah. God. We're... Oh yeah, I just got this a post place. for myself. Oh. That's right, this is a thing. We're gonna it's revisit like... it in post-game, but I might as well check it out here. Ooh. We're doing post-game? Oh, yeah. Did you mention this already? Fuck. Yeah. Probably did. There's a lot right. of post-game to do. Yay. We could see if the heat treads could be a boy or a girl if you do that. I want to shine hunt a heat trans so bad. I thought heat was that. gender neutral. Nope, it could be male or female, 50-50 ratio. Huh. Is the only legendary Pokemon, I believe, that does that. What the fuck? That's weird. I don't know why this is, but <coughs> it's <coughs> really cool. Hmm. And that's why I want to shiny hunt it to see what gender my shiny would wind up being. It's like it has a novelty to it, so. Oh, there's stairs. I forgot though. I forgot like the order to, to do this place in. Good question. This is basically the old chateau, but slightly different. Oh, okay. I don't know if like the ghost girl appears until you go until you find her on the marvelous bridge. Hmm. But I know that this is how you'd find uh, Cresselia. Oh in, yeah. Um, in the post game. I think I actually did do that. I remember getting the feather for it. Like, you have to do a thing also, here. I think you also get a Latios or Latios, depending. Oh, is this a visitor? Ooh, I'm so happy to meet someone else here. You're not real. Did I ask you to be my opponent? No. <laughs> I don't think you asked me. I think you just came up to me and told me that. Yeah. Uh, can you be my opponent? I had no way in the conversation of being held against my will. Yeah. It's 
That's kind of Pokemon in a nutshell. Oh, without a doubt. Mm, like, Nummel. Without fail. Nummel. I thought it was Numel for the longest time. Right until I was like, oh, Nummel, because it's the Num Pokemon. I am also an idiot. Well, you two, for, for a long time, I thought it was. I actually came to that issue myself. Hmm. Because, like, okay, my sister caught one in probably Scarlet and Violet. And I saw the Dex entry, or I saw it in a video. No, because they would have said. They probably said Numel, though. And I was like, wouldn't it be? Numel. But I saw, like, oh, the Num Pokemon. I was like, so wait, wouldn't it be Numel because Num? And. That was like the first time I've had like, the first and only time I've had that sort of realization about Pokemon pronunciation. God, where's my remote? What the fuck? I should try I watching would... the anime at some point. I don't like how they say Regice. Hey, you Regice? I'm gonna Regice ice you in the fucking neck in a minute. The cry though Reggie. is really funny. The cries are great. <laughs> I remember one time I told Kane that I had lost my remote, and he was like, I don't watch TV when that happens. It's like, well, unfortunately, Kane, I need live screen going at once. I didn't tell him that, and I should have. It would have been funny. Mm. If I lived with Kane, that would be. <laughs> he would walk in on me with, like, my laptop out, my phone, and the TV on, and he'd be like, D Do you have enough screens? I'm like, No, can you give me your phone? <laughs> Three, four, five, six attempt at Trip's final boss. Oh, lovely. He's there already. Jeez. Platforms under me glitch out so there's nothing under me and I die. Well, that's just a Sonic game. Yeah. I still have not finished uh, Trip's campaign in Superstars. I do not have Superstars. I've what? attempted Fucking... to, and then uh, I like try for a while, and then I'm just like, no. I'm I'm not doing this. I'm I'm not doing this. Oh, ghost girl, lovely. Oh, there she is. An everlasting dark dream. An endless dream of darkness. Abra, where are you? I know there's a way to get dark gray here, but I was never able to figure it out. I don't think I ever got dark gray, which is a shame because I do like dark gray. Oh, everything's jumping. It's a Jump ghost around. house. Ooh, Jump up, jump up to get down. Full heal. <laughs> Can you feel the power? <laughs> full heal. Full, full. full heal, huh? <laughs> full heal. Let's count. How many Castellia codes do I have? Holy shit! I didn't know I had that many. 126. Could you tell? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't exactly leave this alone on the days that I didn't uh, play this. Yeah. Right, I didn't record it. I can't talk tonight. I'm a little... Eh. I, I don't think either of us are... The furniture moves. Spooky! Dusk stone. That would be really useful. If you had, like, I don't know... Dusk... Go? I don't even Dusk know... Dusk I don't, even, I, I don't know if Dusk is available to be uh gotten in be gotten to is be obtained a, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me your brain is not working today oh a trinket a rare can Ooh. how close is chop rock to evolving let me well, look well no and well no uh, i mean leveling up because he's like one level away oh you okay. know what that's far enough i want my crocodile this is probably a waste of a rare candy, but I do not care. I keep getting Michael Jackson shit in my fucking news thing. RIP. What's worse is that I've had a fucking Michael Jackson song stuck in my head lately. It's fucking Leave Me Alone. That's ironic. It is ironic. It is. I swear to God, he's fucking like messing with me in particular. It's like, can you like mess with somebody else, hee hee man? Thanks. <laughs> right? <laughs> it's so funny. 
But the newest thing says Michael Jackson trades one hit album for another Billboard charts. So what is it? Hmm? Oh, it's a collection. It's a, like, oh, the essential Michael Jackson replaces the Jackson 5 Christmas album. Okay. See, I thought maybe it'd be something interesting. Nope. But what's the hit sing- like, what- what- what brought it up here? What's the hit single? Mm, oh no, it was for the Christmas thing. It was for the Christmas thing. Okay, so what the fuck is the song for this now? Like, come on. You- Like, fucking tell me the song. What's the song? Fuck you, Forbes. Fucking premium bullshit. Die. <laughs> Forbes? Forbes, you know, F R O F O R B E S Forbes 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 <laughs> Whatever the fuck. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I, I, I was more confused. You, who are you? I'm a ghost. Oh. Ooh. There's another person oh here besides me. We don't need any trainers here. And who the fuck are you? We don't need any trainers here. Do you live here? I don't think so. Maybe she's a squatter. Based, actually. <laughs> yeah. No fucking way. Notorious arcade gamer Billy Mitchell settles suit over Donkey Kong World Record. I need to read this article. I need to read this article. That is so funny. Hmm. That's funny. He he has this uh, competitive arcade gamer Billy Mitchell, known for his high scores on Pac and Donkey Kong, has reached a confidential settlement in his defamation lawsuit against Twin Galaxies, the video game database that stripped Mitchell of his world records in 2018. <clears throat> I like how Can't they wait to hear use the term. I like how they use those terms to describe him. Right. <laughs> it's so funny. Even though he does not deserve it. Oh no, absolutely not. <clears throat> like Oh yeah, Ace Frehley was up to more fucking bullshit too today uh, oh, recently. Lovely. Is he still not <laughs> over it? Nope! Lovely. He never is! <clears throat> what is he were saying about Billy Mitchell? Like like, don't get me wrong, he may or may not be a pretty decent, uh, video game player, but the, the fact of the matter is that he felt the need to cheat, so therefore he shouldn't be... Yeah. <laughs> ...given any, like, accolades like that. Forget about yeah, the like, Lunar it... Wing, please stay here with me, but <gasps> I want the Lunar Wing, even though I'm not going to be able to use it for at least three episodes. At least. Right. <clears throat> there it is. My lunar wing. I don't even remember how I did this. I think I was just running around like a fucking idiot. Oh! The lunar wing. I can't take it now. But it'll be okay. Please return the wing to the Pokemon. You're a fucking freak. I was waiting on the bridge so I can return it myself. Oh, and she's gone. I think if you don't come here... Um, when you first go to Marvelous Bridge, uh, like, like, uh, in the post-game, she'll be there, and then she'll disappear, and then, like, the guy next to her will be really confused. Like, what oh my the fuck? God. <laughs> did, did you see that? <laughs> the, the most realistic reaction of all of Pokemon. Actually, you know what? That's kind of unfortunate. I think I missed that interaction now. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna need the repels. Oh, without a doubt. <laughs> Sorry. Danny, Danny. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you go off them right away. Sonic and Sonic Unleashed. <laughs> um. Jeremiah? Jerma. Jeremiah has a sub striker. Jermaya, Jerma. Jerma. 
But, um, my toys. My toys? <laughs> <laughs> that was... I watched that clip and it's so fucking funny. My toys. Like, we were fucking losing our minds over it. Especially with LSD's reaction. <laughs> like, that made it 20 times funnier. Oh, I... Keeps hearing the synth, looks outside, garbage truck. Garbage truck! <laughs> <laughs> that was so good! <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, I need to send this. Nine Inch Nails fans are fucking mentally deranged. Right, as someone who enjoys Nine Inch Nails' music, even casually, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If Bob's your uncle, I've never understood what the fuck that means. I don't- I've never understood it. <laughs> We're autistic, you can't just assume we'll know what the fuck you're talking about when Bob's your uncle. It's like, I don't have an Uncle Bob. I had a great Uncle <laughs> Bob. Uh, I think he oh. died, like, before I was born, oh. so that's unfortunate. Oh. Aww. Now you can't tell someone Bob's your uncle. Because then they're gonna be like, he's dead! <laughs> And then you'll just feel bad. Except it's you, so you won't feel bad. <laughs> My uncles have cool names like Stefan. Oh, kind of like the guy who played uh, Robbie Rotten in like C Town. <laughs> Why was that my first example? Why was that my only example? The first time I've ever heard of Lazy Town was after the guy died. Oh, dude, Lazy Town was a big part of my childhood. So when he died, I think he died pretty close to my birthday, which is very fucking unfortunate. I didn't have cable, so. Oh, that explains cable it. Cable or internet. Before I go into the Ace Fraley shit, I saw a post for my, I was a good through my posts on like uh, Facebook. And I posted about the cane tank top. Um. I didn't tag anybody, I just posted it. And the ca <laughs> I'm gonna read you the caption because I went fucking ballistic. Urgh, I cannot wait for this! The rabies! It is getting to me! I need this ticked up now! It will be here soon, but I'm so antsy and impatient and rabid! Urgh. Hmm. Kane put a like on it. Mm hmm. He. I commented, like, can if you see this, don't mind the rabies, and he fucking <laughs> saw it. He read it. But the fact that he still talks to me after all this shit shows he really does love me at the end of the day. So He knows we all have a little rabies deep down. Right. Even he's got a little rabies somewhere. Oh yeah, it looks this cave looks different in Black 2 compared to White 2. Yeah, I think in Black 2, Reversal Mountain is inactive. And in white yeah. too, it's active. Yeah, which is so bizarre, but kind of cool. This is the furthest this game went. Oh, this is ooh. the furthest this series went with any of these touches. Also, the music's different. Oh yeah, this is where you get the thingy. I want to investigate here in Reversal Mountain. Bianca, please train better Pokemon. I mean, what? Right. Oh, you get to do the Delval thing. Except you have a rappel on, so. Uh oh. <gasps> I do prefer. I do prefer uh. the one in white too, just because um, it's because it seems like in this one, Reversal Mountain never starts, like the song. It's just kind of yeah. this bit. For like, uh, for like a minute and a half. God, yeah. And plus, I like it more because it just looks cooler with all the mm. lava. So. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I finished trip story before Nick did. Of course you did. Of course. <laughs> I probably could finish it if I wanted to. I just but don't, you don't care. Want. I know no wanna. Right, let's see if I can find some of this ace bullshit. Actually, let me see if I can find my fucking remote. Can I probably would be more motivated to finish it if each attempt didn't take, like... Five Forever. minutes. 
Because Which it's a two-phase fight, and you have Ooh. to have wait for your opportunity to hit him. Uh. So if you, right. like... So yeah. if you, you know... Lose on the f last couple hits. Congratulations! You just wasted five minutes of your life. God. That, that right, you let have me see to if I can find my Let me see if I can find my remote somewhere. I have no idea where the fuck it went. Ugh. I'm not muting my mic. Ooh, Darmanitan. You can hear me wander around my room like a bumbling idiot. I could bone rush Darmanitan. Like Never mind. Uh, Darmanitan <laughs> killed me. Where is it? Throw these cans away. Why does he know Flare Blitz at level 37? Where is it? Go, goth wife. Oh, I know Psychic now. I forgot about that. Where the fuck is it? Oh, How did Masharna survive that? What the fuck? I can't... I can't find it. What the fuck? Hmm. It's on my floor. It's on my desk. It seems to be on my dresser. I hate these stupid fucking creaky floorboards. Is it... Please tell me I didn't just, like, step on it as I sat down here. Please tell me- okay. I would fucking chuck something if that was the case. Hmm. Fuck! Ha <sighs> ha, floor lords go creak. It's so annoying, because I could- I know that my father could hear it. And it's like- <sighs> Why must my room be that fucking close to his? I hate this shit. Hmm. Where's my goddamn remote? What the fuck? Well, the first battle here didn't go very well. Oh no. Is it under a pillow? How did that not kill Excadrill? What the fuck? I mean, I guess Mianfu <sighs> is unevolved. Yeah. I've never used, like, the Min the Minfu line ever. I like it. I've used it once. It was in Pokemon Moon. I named after David Donato. David Donato died. In real life, I mean. Actually, no, I did use it for a brief time in X and Y because, uh, w because, uh, Wonder Trade. Ah. Wonder Trade is great. I actually really... Right? Have you... There's a couple of videos I really like where it's, um... I... Poketuber, Absol blogged Pokemon, um, completing the Pokedex with only Wonder Trades. See, what's funny is that that's probably easier than doing it normally. Yeah, it's <laughs> like the funniest thing ever. He has two videos on it where he does it in um, Pokemon X and Y and then Braille Diamond Shining Pearl. Hmm. I love both of those videos. I return them quite often. They're comfort video. They're comfort videos for me. How to strike it big on Wonder Trade? Catch four boxes of Route One Pokemon with quick yep. balls and only quick balls. Uh, for a anything else, it'll all go wrong. <laughs> uh, waste about six hours of your life trading them away. Profit. Yep. God, what the fuck? I actually can't find my remote. Man, it sucks you can't do that anymore. Because, th right. because, th because you know, th 3DS shit. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking gone soon. If it isn't already. Nah, it's, it's gone. Done. Ninten- It's nah, gone. Yeah, it's gone. Aww. Oh, fucking sucks. I don't know why Nintendo reset that shit so quickly. I- Probably because they were like, oh, everything, everyone's hacking. Uh, let's- Fuck them over as hard as possible. Like, and well sure, here. I get it. The 3DS is and has been a dead platform. Yeah. For a while. But I'm At the same still time, upset. It's like... Yeah, like. What the fuck? What the fuck? I've. I feel like I've looked everywhere. Hmm. 
but I didn't look at the front under my bed. Hold on. I'm not gonna be able to hear you. I'm not unmuting. I'm not muting my mic for this shit. Just fuck it. Hmm. Ah. What is it with these bulky Pokemon? Good lord. Like, apparently it is. Ugh. God, where the fuck is it? Why do all of these trainers have the most bulky Pokemon imaginable? Not on what changed? Not over here. Is it behind? Is it behind anything? It was me! I had it the whole time! No? What is lying on my foot? Mouse. Makes sense. Don't use rest uh, again! That's so annoying! Is it here? Is it under this? Which you I hate Grumpig. I hate Grumpig so much. What the fuck? It's not on that. Okay, finally, we can defeat it this turn. That is if the AI doesn't completely fuck me over. You Shadow Ball. Thank God. Oh, there's the nail clippers. I swear to God. I love Pokemon, but sometimes I hate Pokemon. Please be something I can defeat with ease. That's not what I wanted, game. Please. No. Oh, Lord. Please don't take ages to defeat. I actually have no fucking idea where it is. Huh. I'm losing my mind. I am actually losing my mind. Hmm. I've looked, like, everywhere. Where could it be? I've, like, looked in the sides of my bed, like, multiple times. Oh. My. God. Did you find it? Underneath my drawing tablet. RIP. <laughs> oh, oh. It is without <laughs> be... fail always in, like, the most basic places. Yes! This is all because I was drawing birthday art for Kane. And I can mm. mention that here because it's not like Kane watches these videos. He doesn't know. It's a surprise for him. Because I love him. You destroyed my hopes and dreams with that one comment. <laughs> hey, you never, hey, you never know. Maybe he will. Maybe he'll come across this and be like, hey, Bane. Um, what you talking about? Like, what, 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 what am I talking about? You make it art? No. No, how'd you know? Who are you and why aren't you battling me? You strike me as like to close out the habitat list. You're wrong. Yeah, <laughs> about that. I don't do that. What kind of Pokemon live in Reversal Mountain? Still looking into it. Okay. I don't I don't know about you, fam, but I'm using repels. Habitat list? Right. What habitat list? You get habitat these nuts. Habitat these <laughs> nuts in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. Why is that so funny? Oh yeah, like Ace bragging about his fucking IQ, which I still can't fucking believe that shit. Why like, do people do that? Because IQ they have nothing else to go IQ has been, of. like... Obsolete. Very fucking obvious that it doesn't mean shit. Prob prob yeah. Probably since before Ace, like, you know, was like... <laughs> Probably before, he, probably before he was born, honestly. Um, Ace was born in 1951. One of the few birth years of Kiss Members I remember. Okay, I think the study done for that was, uh, like, around that time. Like, the first, yeah, like, so... heavily looked into study. Yeah, so he was, like, a baby. At best. Which is, like, God, my IQ is high. I have a high IQ. It's three points above Einstein. Brag. Oh, Kelly has a lowest IQ. <laughs> he didn't say any of that, but I'm just being a bitch, so. Bragging about your IQ is Makes actual loser behavior. It's cringe. Mega cringe, if you will. Bro, you just post the cringe. Don't do that! Did it yawn? Oh, it used rust. 
I would have known if it. Hmm? I would have known if it used Yawn because it would go. It's something I love. I love the Yawn sound effect. The older games. I hate rest. I hate rest so much. Wow, that did a whole like. That did a whole lot. Nothing. One damage. Uh-huh, huh? One. I feel a sneeze coming I missed on. the I really bone. Do. Eh. <coughs> oh! My god! Well, I blew that. It's gonna rest again. Why- why did I say Water. anything? Why did I say anything? Right. I've been watching, um, a lot of, uh, Darman knockoffs here lately. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever uh, heard of tomorrow's teethings? I didn't you react to, to it on one stream and you were like, "Oh, this is gonna get me banned." That was Jin Hope. Oh, Jin. Oh, I think I have heard the term at least. Uh, like um, I know uh, I know YMS has reacted to it. Uh, has reacted a couple. Oh, times that too. that might be why. The chicken I think video. The Oh, a girl I, I turns into I've... a chicken. <laughs> I think I have seen that like pop up in my feed at some point. It's funny. Sorry, I'm trying to move you on. You should around. watch it. <laughs> I, I, I should. I should at least watch YMS react to it. God, where did my mouse go? There it is. All right, now it's so comfy. terrible. Do, it, anything based on Darkman is terrible, just by nature. Darman ain't got nothing on, like, and, like, uh, uh fucking, Tomorrow's Teachings, it, 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 it's a fucking parody channel. You cannot convince me that it's not. Yeah. As I try to move my laptop around. There we go. It's been a minute since I've actually gotten to sit in my bed while doing one of these videos. Hmm. Because most of the time I'm still doing workouts. I have taken to, um, playing Splatoon more, and doing workouts between rounds. Believe it or not, this is actually way fucking quicker than how I usually would go about it, because I wind up, like, kind of procrastinating on workouts, and then I wind up working until, like, 6 in the morning. Hmm. But nowadays, I can get it done before midnight, because I'll do it between- Hmm. It's very strange. Corey? Cory? <laughs> oh my god, Cory in game, Cory in real LSD. life. LSD! LSD, we found you! Something tells me he would not use these the Pokemon. Game. He would not use these Pokemon, let's be real. Something tells me he'd be angry at Scraggy in particular. <laughs> Wait, how come? I don't know. So, I don't know. It's something it's about just the vibe. It. These are probably the worst Pokemon to have out against a black belt. Right. I don't think I could have picked a worse set if I tried. <sighs> Goodbye, Girder. Don't kill me. Yo, oh. Oh. I avoided it. Let's, Let's go. go. It's all skill. All skill, no luck. But, um... Ace was talking about, um, like... Um... Apparently Ace was watching a video where scientists were talking about, like, AI stuff. Ew. And... He was like, uh... I'll read the whole thing. Google's making robots that have access to 20,000 computers. Can you tell what word made me stop for a minute there? <laughs> so a Google robot could be any human being in chess, could be any human being in math, and can answer more questions than anybody. Could get a perfect IQ of 200 or whatever a perfect IQ is, he continued. Mine's 163, thank god. I'm not one of the those ones in the under 100 area. Why the fuck? Thank God I'm not one of those ones in the under a hundred area in terms of IQ. That's horrible. 
Right, like... That is like, kind of an <clears throat> awful thing to say. Yeah, like, what the fuck? So, you don't want to be average? Yeah, it's like... Like, I don't care if I'm, like, genius or not. It's like... Rah, 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 rah. I'm not in the mood for this version of Under My Wheels. I'm always in the mood for Kane, though. Dude... Also, uh... I... Also... Yeah? Man with the high IQ fails to realize that computers and humans don't play chess the same way. Right? That... That that's like basic fucking chess knowledge. Yeah, yeah, it's like at a <laughs> high level, human chess and computer chess, even even now, are not the same fucking thing. Oh, another thing that Ace said recently was, um, "I'm planning a kiss movie about my life. My life is like a fairy tale." No. Is he okay? Right, like... Is he okay? It's like... Yeah, fairy tales have, you know... You spiraling into drug addiction. Sure. Which I'm not saying it's, like, a bad thing to wind up in that situation. I'm gonna reset the Discord stuff real quick. Or, I mean, like, okay. the, I mean, like the uh, audio stuff real quick, because I don't know if the... Alright, one second... Uh, can you check to see if that worked? I clicked the wrong thing. Or, uh, blah, 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 blah. all right, it's working. There, there. Okay, there we cool. Go. I couldn't have thought of anything more creative to test that. Really, God. It's Tuesday, which means it's it's Tuesday, which means Oreo gets to recreate nine eleven. Oh my, I love how I know exactly what that's like parody on, off of. It's. Have you seen the original what, of what that is? It's Monday, so Monday. Gandalf gets to lick a gram cracker. <laughs> it is her favorite activity. I love those videos. It's amazing. It's so simple, but I love it. No one spells Marcus with a K. Get out! My name is Victor with a K. Right, like, that makes a little more sense. It comes off as very Russian, if I'm honest. Better but call Marcus? Saul reference. Oh. <laughs> that flew over my fucking head and you mm -hmm. can tell. Um. <clears throat> oh, what? yeah. Ace revealed what his next album release is going to be after 10,000 volts. Hmm. Origins Volume 3. A third cover album. That's lame as hell. Hey Ace, do me a favor. Cover Kane Roberts and then you'll have some praise from me. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Can you fucking imagine? That is I like fucking... actually lame as hell. Like, you're gonna Ace be like... Them. Like, you're gonna be like... Wasn't he grilling Kiss for a uh, perceived lack of originality? Pretty much. And like, <clears throat> here's my problem with Ace, is that most of the things that are considered hits for him are covers. That's sad, kind I, of. It is sad, that's why I hate it. Because like, obviously Ace is like, m capitalizing off of this. Hmm. And you know, good on him I guess. But the problem is, it's like, that's not why I like Ace's music. The things I like with Ace's music are, like, the originals. Like, insane and, and fucking rock soldiers, trouble walking. It's like. I, I would yeah. make fun of them, but I, I, I actually can't imagine how, like, that might actually feel. Right, like... That it, it, probably does sting. But then, like, what do people focus on? Oh, New York Groove. Into the Night. Don't get me wrong, Into the Night, his version of it is a fucking kick-ass song. And don't get me wrong, him doing a cover per album is fine. Because it's like...
We're over an hour in, in and we're not even close to getting to the seventh gym. And that's the thing down there. I think. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Uh. Oh my god. Are we back? Um. First of all, Spotify just paused my fucking music. Second of all, how much of that ramble did you hear? Almost none of it. <laughs> That's wonderful. What the? F okay, I was talking about the thing with covers on Ace's albums and how um, Dancing with Danger is called a cover for Second Sight because Ace said, "Oh, I've done a cover for every album." But Dancing with Danger was a song that was co-written by Ace. It was done by somebody else, but Ace co-wrote it. I don't think that should be considered a cover as hmm. a result of Ace co-writing it. Because here's the thing. When it comes to Kiss's song, Hide Your Heart, no one calls it a Bonnie Tyler cover. When it comes to Kane's song, Women on the Edge of Love, Battle in no a one volcano. calls that a cover. Because here's the thing. No one calls Kane's song, Women on the Edge of Love, a Matt Travers. Why is that? Paul co-wrote Hide Your Heart. Kane co-wrote Women on the Edge of Love. Effectively, those shouldn't be considered covers. So Dancing with Danger should not be considered a cover either. And here's another thing. Ace did two Kiss covers. One on each- I think he did two- No. Did he do three Kiss covers on- Hold on, now I gotta Google. Hmm. Bugly. Ace Fraley Origins. Volume 1. Uh, track listing. Maybe we'll get Discharge in... Okay, it did... Okay, he episode. did do three. Ah. He did three Kiss songs on Origins Volume 1, which is considered... Which is a cover album. However, Parasite, he wrote that song entirely. Kuljit, he wrote that song entirely. The only Kiss song on this album that I would consider a cover is Rock and Roll Hell, because he had no involvement with it prior. Hmm. He didn't co-write it, he was not even on the album. It's Rock and Roll Hell off of Creatures of the Night. Parasite and Cold Gin should not be considered covers. I do not think those should be covers. At all. Those are Ace's versions of that song. Not covers. I... Some people might say, you're wrong, Bane. You're wrong. You're objectively wrong. No, no the fuck I'm not. Volcanoes he he are, are called Kazan in my language. I'm curious what language. Good question. I'm going to Google that. Or was that just made up? Kazan. Volcano. We're over an hour in, and we've made almost no progress. Keep in mind, we're still a ways toward... We're still a ways toward the gym. I think it's Japanese. Huh. That's a cool little touch, honestly. I, I might be... Or Russia? What the fuck? Uh, oh, hold on. In hold Soviet on. Russia! Yep, 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 it's Japanese. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Did it's this... Japanese. Ah, oh, there goes my joke. Could this be the place where Reversal Mountain started from? The lair of the Pokemon Heat ran? I guess we'll find out in, like, three episodes. Right. As I was saying, um, and here's the thing, by most people's logic, I should be right. Because, again, no one calls Hide Your Heart a Bonnie Tyler cover. Hmm. No one calls, um, Kane's song, Women on the Edge of Love, a Pat Travers song. A cover. It is a Pat Travers song at the end of the day, but it, they don't consider it a cover. But then Ace does this and it's considered covers? No. Hmm. Those aren't covers. Those do not fucking count as covers. I adamantly fucking refuse to accept them as covers, actually. I don't care if they're on a cover. Those aren't covers. You're being a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'm on the move for Exciter. 
Rock and Roll Hell? Yeah, that that's a cover. That's a Kiss cover. I'll take it. Because it is. That's a Kiss cover. Parasite and Cold Gin. Songs of Ace. He didn't even just co-write them. He wrote them entirely. Mm. He's the only Ryan credit on those two songs. That gives even less fucking leeway for the cover aspect. Because with Hide Your Heart and Women on the Edge of Love, you could argue, oh, but, you know, someone co-wrote uh, Women on the Edge of Love. First of all, it wasn't even Pat Travers, it was Robbie Dupree. Second of all, oh, you could argue uh, Paul Staley had Desmond Child and fucking... What the hell was her name? What the hell was her name? Was it Holly Knight? Or Diane Warren? It was one of those two. Maybe hmm. both. That's 69, nice. I'm starting to think I should split this. Oh? Because we still have Route 14, oh. Undela Town, Route 13, Lacunosa, Route 12, Village Ooh. Bridge, Route 11, Route 9, and then the Opelucid Gym. And even then, I think I am going to have to, you know... And even then, due to... Due to leveling, I think I might be a little underleveled by that point. So I might have to do a couple levels at that point anyway. So I may split this. I may go maybe up to Lacunosa and then call yeah. it. Because Jesus Christ. I do want so to like get to the gym this weekend. So I yeah. I, I may just do the rest tomorrow. Uh Yeah. I don't but know. I, I guess we'll see when we get there. Realizing that I have to wake up early tomorrow. That'll be mm. funny. I might still go wake up early tomorrow no matter how fun. Staying up. Yeah, I guess maybe I will call it then. Uh, like, when, like uh, when we get to Lacanosa. Yeah. Because that's still at least a good double what we're at now. Oh, God. We're at nearly an hour and a half. Damn. And we'll probably be yeah, it might be wise. at an hour and a half by the time we get there. Yeah. Like, because, like, we'll probably be at the hour and a half mark Um, after we get out of the mountain. Yeah. Say, so, yeah, maybe I'll split it. I forgot just how long it takes when you do every battle. Oh yeah, since it's spring, there is a small area in Castelia I can go to. Ooh. Uh, like, like, uh, because, uh, it's, uh, through the sewers that you can only get when the, when, like, the water's up in the spring and yeah. summer. It's this weird, like, back alley area. Oh, yeah. I may do that when I get, when I get out of the cave. Or I may just save it for next time, who knows. We'll see. Now I get to feed my Snorlax dinner in on sleep. Yeah, I'm gonna split it. Yeah. Nicole found a nugget. Nugget. And I'll, pro and I'll probably just um, do the next part tomorrow. Because, yeah. Because um, at the moment, I'm currently trying to like build back up a backlog of content. Because I, I have ran dry at this point. Because I haven't oh, no. done I haven't done any any recording in some time. Like, because like the last time I recorded was the Freedom Planet long play with Carol, and the last time I recorded anything uh, related to uh, anything with the commentary was the last Pokemon part we did. I haven't streamed since then either. Oh yeah, that is true. And I have everything uploaded, so I want to get a bit of a backlog again, so I may try to make... I am actually off for four days this weekend, so that actually Ooh. will work. Andela I Town is right through here. 
I need to finish this fucking drawing before the 16th, because that's Kane's birthday. And I'm on shading, so it probably won't be long until I'm done. And I have a few days to spare. And I'm hoping if I can, you know, spare a few days, I, like how I can I instinctively manage. Yeah. clicked that. Right. There was no indication. I <laughs> forgot there- I didn't even- I actually forgot there was even an item there. I, I don't need propels anymore. Yeah. Berry juice. Wait, like, when does this Splatfest end? Because I want to see if I could fit in, like, an Instagram live stream of me just playing around. What are the teams like for this Splatfest? I haven't- I, I um, haven't paid attention. Okay, I haven't even talked about it here. What the fuck is wrong with- I've, I've just been swamped with other fucking shit. Um... The prompt is, um, who would you spend the holidays with? Hmm. And it's friends, family, or solo. I'm on team friends. Which is Shiver's team. Because, well, I'm not close with most of my family, so. <laughs> hmm. I wonder why only the father from the riches stayed here. Oh yeah, this used to be a massive fucking villa. As you can see, I'm an ultra-rich billionaire. <laughs> Come again? Splat. And as you can see, my hobby is to collect rare items. This outfit is ultra-expensive and rare. Go fuck <laughs> yourself, actually. Get out. Can you see it? Can you? You're a fucking black belt. Go fuck off. There's something that this billionaire wants to get his hands on. He's spending a lot of money. I do not have such a rare item. Alright, so it ends on the 14th at 6. The 14th. Marine tube. So, let's see, what, let's see what happens if I try to go like through it. Sunday. Good, I think I'll I can I'll be finished with the cleaning soon. I can't I believe I, I can... got stopped by a Janie. Am amazing, thank you. The Marine okay, tube I stream... is just ahead. Hmm? Okay, if I stream Splatoon early enough tomorrow, I could still fin a Splatoon stream. And then, still do the Pokemon shit. Hmm. This villa belongs to Caitlyn, one of the Pokemon League's Elite Four. You'll find Cynthia here eventually. Yeah. <laughs> I remember, um... All right. People were talking about, like, uh, their experience with it, and, um... I hmm. found Cynthia post-game. I think she's post-game, no matter what, I think. She is post-game. Well, I found her after, like, I had Giratina and everything. Mm. I escaped the Cynthia trauma. So many people are like, I got my ass beat. And I'm like, she wasn't that bad. I I keep escaping the Pokemon trauma. Uh, Ultra Necrozma is notorious in Ultra Sun Ultra Moon for being ridiculous. I've heard. I've heard it's it fucking broken. It's ended many Nuzlocks, apparently. Undella base um, Abby saw ruins have messages carved into the walls. I don't know why it's broken, but I just and then, know it's broken. The reason I escaped was because um, I had a Zorark. Zorark is like the catch-all thing that will take it down pretty much. Because hmm. you can make it disguised as like a Pokemon. And it'll, tr it'll act like it's the Pokemon that it's disguised as. So, it may try- if you try it to use, like, a certain Pokemon, you can make it, um... Use just a Psychic move, but because it's a Psychic move, it can't hit Zoroark. Hmm. So you could effectively just stonewall it that way, I guess, would be the term. Bum! I, I don't remember doing that even. Gen 7 again. Do it. Like, I played it, like... Not long after the original Sun and Moon came out, and that's what kind of got me out of Pokemon in the first place. Ah, uh, with me, um, Big Pearl Cell High. Ah, Small Pearl, Pearl Cell Low. Low. I like how we <laughs> had the same joke. <laughs> I, I think there is a Pokemon item that specifically says how do i keep did you randomly finding these spots I, I was never able to do this when i had the game back on my ds 
Right, and now here you are. I tried to do this. Cool Pokemon. Cool Pokemon. I think it, it does use those. Okay, that's good to know. My colleague is calling me. I have to get back to work. Loser. Imagine working, L. Right. I say as if I didn't just. I can say it though. I can say it though. Hours L ago. L it is two in the morning. What the fuck? It doesn't feel like I've been off work for six hours. Big Pearl sell high? You know Aww. what? I'm not gonna complain about that. That's actually helpful. True. Oh, you, oh, you can get love disc in this game. <laughs> okay, it's gold, silver, and crystal. A beautiful pearl sell low. Mm. <laughs> Big Pearl Big sell pearls. high. <laughs> Big Pearl. Let me see if I can get the item description so I can read it word for word. Because it is my favorite. I love- A big beautiful pearl. Sell high. I love how even- Like, I love Gen 2. But a lot of that shit they half-assed. <laughs> oh, without a doubt. It's hilarious. Sell high is, I think sell high and sell low is the best example. <laughs> <laughs> like, that is the most broken English I've ever seen in a Pokemon game. Not a shiny. That- Not I a think shiny. I am a little- I'm not underleveled, but I am on par, so I guess that's fine. Dizzy Punch. Dizzy Punch. Dizzy Punch. Dizzy Punch. I'm mainly going this way after the experience. Uh, and B. Why do I still have Crobat up front? I should, like, mo move it. But, um... There's a certain gate I want to visit. So that I can bitch about. Oh. Big Pearl sell high? Big Pearl sell high. The sound of gently crashing waves, the smell of salt in the air, and a battle with a trainer in the prime of youth. That... I don't yeah. like how that comes off. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Gentleman Sheldon. El Caddy. All I can think about when I hear the name Sheldon is... Big Bang Theory. Oh my god. We are going to beat you to death. Why is that one fucking image of them with that text on there so funny? Really? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Level 40. That's what Love being young is all about. Don't say that. Don't. Just, just don't say that, please. I'm begging you. Please! Um... I should not be hearing people in my hallway at fucking all. But okay. Sag. It is the worst. Normally, I could record a video at this time with background. Now, everyone's like, oh, you expect us to be on your schedule? Stay the fuck out. Hmm. It doesn't take much. Like, I can wake up on a specific time if you really want me to. As it stands. Sorry, song came up and I was like, well, um. I have no reason to fucking wake up early. I wish that's, I wish that still applied to me. I miss waking right. up late and not feeling guilty about it. Right, it's, I here's the thing, I still feel guilty because everyone's fucking judging me for it. Hmm. It's like I feel this event skill and it fucking drives me away even further. Like, it's just like so fucking and, and everyone's aware, they're like, oh, 
you, it just drives you further away. It's like, why the fuck are you still commenting? Why are you still fucking being fucking asshole? Yeah, that yeah, that's kind of their fault at that point. It is. It is. Like, it's like if they don't want to drive you further away, just don't be a dick. Yeah. It's not it's like that a... hard. Yeah, but if I said anything, I'd be the bad guy. <laughs> Junko. Junko. The, the pigtails don't fucking help you look any less like Shima. I kind of like that name, though, I'm not going to lie. It is a cool name. Uh, I hear crackling. Oh, oh, shit. It just started. <laughs> Actually, it probably is just on, like, the Discord feed, but let me reset it in OBS just in case, because I reset it in OBS, but... Yeah. Is that, um... I've told Kane about my sleep ordeal. He has zero fucking judgment. Because <laughs> here's the thing, I... I, I could talk to it about it with you guys, because it's like, you know, I know you guys aren't going to fucking judge me. And you also, guys to be fair, just... we are, like, no better. Yeah. We all have fucked up sleep schedules here. Yeah. Kane's main concern was how much sleep I was getting. And I told I get, like, I get, like, seven or eight, generally, sometimes more, but I try to aim for seven or eight, and he said, that's good. Hmm. The fact that that was his main concern. Not when, it was how much of it I was getting. That's cool. Here's the thing, I could talk to my- I could talk to you guys about this because it's like, oh, it's embarrassing. But with him, I was embarrassed to admit it. I was fucking embarrassed. Because I'm like, oh, jeez, this is like, kind of a vulnerable thing to be admitting to him. But he was like, totally chill about it. Much like, you know, me being, you know, unemployed. That was something I'm also embarrassed about, because, again, constant fucking judgment about it. Hmm. From, you know, the rest of my family, aside from, like, Mulu. But then there's Kane! He doesn't judge me at all about this shit, it's like... It fucking baffles me. And it makes me love him even more, so... Oh, it is so Jover. It, it's Jover. It's so Jover. It's Jover, isn't it? I'm it, so it's so Jover. Crooked <laughs> Tile's fucking hand! Yeah. Look at <laughs> his fucking grabby hand. Yeah, it's mine. <laughs> yeah. I do have a soft spot for Crooked line. It's a little, a little ankle biter. <laughs> like, here's something funny. Lulu and I have encountered a hilarious little like paradox of. Lulu likes pretty much all the War Stars. However, cause, yeah, cause most of the War Stars do fall into her favorite, like, sort of, like, type of Pokemon. Like, oh, they're, like, kind of cute -y. There's only one War Star that doesn't fall into this, and it's actually Totodile. Yeah, I can see that. Who happens to be my favorite Water Star. Which is hilarious, because that makes up for it not being one of her main favorites. Hmm. In fact, her favorite Johto uh, starter is Chikorita because it's cute. And it's not actually that hard for her to use. It actually saved her ass in a lot of battles in Scarlet and Violet, weirdly enough. I would it say... consistently like, tanked <sighs> a lot of hits. I'd say my least favorite set of starters is honestly the is honestly the Johto ones. Yeah, it's like, they're not, like, particularly extravagant or anything. They're very middle of the road, which is very bizarre for a set of starters. There's usually always at least one standout. And the Johto starters don't have that. Yeah, with me, it's like... With most starter groups, I can choose just one favorite. Gen 1, Bulbasaur. Gen 3, Trico. Gen 4... I've actually leaned more into Chimchar because of the whole monkey thing with Kane. Hmm. Um, Gen 5, Snivy, without a doubt. Um, now I like 
Samurott's line, but Snivy, I just have a stronger connection to because it was my first starter. Gen 6, Fennekin, without a doubt. Gen 7, Litten. This uh, went so horribly. For you? Yes. Oh, oh my god, is most of your team- Oh my god, is most, most of your team of dead? Most of them is gone! What happened? Oh. What was that team? I don't remember this. The only thing that indicated was that you were never getting a chance to send in another Pokemon. Like, I don't e, remember that. Nails. That is actually insane. What happened there? Too much happened there. That team complemented each other, though, actually very well. I'm surprised it was, like, an AI team and not, like, an actual right? person made it. I can't even be mad about it. That... that was impressive. It wants me to use all of my Moo Moo Milks. All 186 of them. My favorite thing about my photos app on my phone is that it'll do like the photo memories thing, and most of it is photos of Kane. Most of mine in like probably a year or so is just gonna be my cats. Oh. Absol, I forgot you could get him here. I love how excited we both were for Absol. Unfortunately, my team is already put together, so no. Right? Like, I, like, I may end up replacing Lucario with, uh... Cobalion? Which is coming up. That's right! Very soon. So I don't have much time to decide. Oh my god, I learned something recently. So I was trying to name a Pokemon Bed of... <laughs> Two absolutes up here. Of... I feel scared for my safety now. Right? Something bad is coming. Something really bad. I think bad. I'm gonna die. Right? Um, I tried to name a Pokemon Bed of Nails recently, in like, I think it was Scarlet and Violet. Hmm. I think I was trying to name my Bronzong Bed of Nails. My shiny Bronzong. Why is Nails file uh, filtered out? What? Why is that? You cannot have Nails as a nail as, as a Ooh. Pokemon name. What? I'm dead fucking serious. I have no fucking idea why. I... I'm lost that there. That pissed me off. You know why? What could they because be trying bed of, to do? Bed of Nails? That's a fucking, like, Alice Cooper song with Kane on it. I was, like, so stoked for it. Now, granted, I did find a pretty funny nickname for it. It's a bell. Call it Freedom, because we're gonna ring that bell. Freedom to rock. Freedom to talk. Freedom! You know? <laughs> what could they be trying to censor, though? Yeah. It's weird. I don't get like, maybe it. It's like, maybe it's like, oh, nail is like a sexual slang. It's like... Why? E Kate Solo. E Kate Solo. E If that was unironically what they thought, then that's kind of on them, because that, that at that point, that's kind of them having a dirty mind. Yes. Like, get the fuck out of here. So stupid. Mienfu. Mienfu. One time, Lulu kept... Okay, so, vocal stimming, you know of it. Yeah, um, I do that all the fucking time. I remember... <laughs> I rewatched the Legends Arceus playthrough, pretty much finished it, recently. There's one episode where you, you go, Oh, I see. And I'm just like, <laughs> what the fuck are you on about? And I was like, are you referencing anything? And you're like, no. Kip? <laughs> I... Kip? Kip. <laughs> Kip Winger. Just remove one of the P's, you got Kip Winger. Um, but like, <laughs> uh, Lulu kept referencing, why Yerpel? She ran to a shiny Mianfu, mm. which is purple. Nice. She fucking, like, spoken into existence. She Beetlejuiced it. Why Yerpel? Why Yerpel? Uh. <laughs> if I ever do X and Y, I think Mianfu does appear relatively early in that game. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I remember I this. I may I actually it. use it. It- I love its design. Look, it's like a weasel! Hmm. How could I not love it? I'm not in Mufos. 
because, like, I do know me and Xiao is actually pretty good. Yeah. But it has a sick design. It doesn't appear very early in black and white, which is why I don't use it. Ah. Uh. See, I'm weird with my teams. I like to specifically plan out for specific Pokemon to pop up. Like, I will look up where they appear. I'm like, okay, so I can have a placeholder here and then get... Because I will be so dead set on having a Pokemon, even if it's, like, kind of detrimental to wait for it. Thankfully, Sableye appears really early on, Scarlet and Violet as well. So I had that from the get-go. Okay, are their teams just really good, or does the mine just suck? Good question. That's a question I deal with all the time. Most of the time, for me, however, it's my team sucks. Because, <laughs> here's the thing. More often than not, I actually have my sister help me with hmm. figuring out teams. Because what happens is, um, I will wind up with a team that is so fucked to so many types that any battle that I go into could be a disaster. And this is because um, the Pokemon I like generally are within one category. They're these like cool, tough, gremlin, bitey looking Pokemon. Unfortunately, many of these fall to specific types. So like fairy types, those are a constant fucking issue for me. I have a lot of my Pokemon have to be dark types. I've gotten a little unfortunate with natures in this playthrough. Oh, that's right. I am so that might be the problem. I think the only time I've like given a shit about like certain things was like, um, I wanted a Sableye with like not stall as hmm. its ability. I was like, I want fucking keen eye. Because I don't want to constantly go last. I want that chance for Sableye. It Sableye's not even that fast of a Pokemon. Weirdly slow for something that's so twitchy. Hmm. But like, you know. Razor shell. Razor shell. When do I get waterfall? Good question. I think it's after you beat Team Plasma, which isn't horribly far. But I do yeah. want a better physical move at this point. Well, actually, water actually waterfall's not that much better, but yeah. I'm going through. Uh, I hate this. Uh, I hate this <gasps> so much. Oh my god! Today we're dancing for no reason. I hate this. I hate they whoever made this. Like this is so stupid. They couldn't have made it like. Oh, the gate is shut down for maintenance, or oh, there's construction. Oh, they, and nope. they knew what they were doing. Oh, without a doubt. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. It's so stupid. Yeah, I, we still got a ways to go. We got this, and then Lacanosa Town, and we'll probably be past the two hour mark. Yeah. And you gotta get up early, so I'll probably- yeah, I'll probably just stop after Lakanosa. Because yeah. we still have Route 12, Village Bridge, Route 11, Route 9, probably a bit of grinding, cause just to stay ahead of the level curve. Yeah. And then we can take on the gym. <laughs> so much is going on. I it's forgot so how long this- this stretch of the game tends to be. Right, like... I just found a specific photo of Kane that I need to send. Because his veins in it are just so fucking insane. He 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 be veiny. I want to see your reaction. So I'll send in like, uh, where's no mic? There's... Where's no mic? There it is. <laughs> this specific image, his fucking veins are fucking insane. Holy shit. <laughs> I love that. It's so fucking insane! Hi. Like... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> like... That is absolutely insane. That is like the veiniest I've ever seen his arm. Just like that bicep alone, it's like, good god! Hi. It's like... 
I'm gonna meet him in person and fucking die for a multitude of reasons. A multitude of reasons. Squish. He's good. Right? Like, <laughs> if, if that's how I die, I died with dignity. Squish. Squish. It he. He vain. It he. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot. You know when the last rival battle was? Forever ago. Flockacy Ranch. Uh, actually, there was the Pokemon World Tournament, but that didn't count. Yeah. Flockacy Ranch. Ago. AKA before the first gym. Right. I don't know what was with the um the distribution of rival battles in this game, but I feel like it's an apology from Black and White 1. Where there where yeah. there was a rival battle fucking everywhere. Oops. All rival battles. Unpheasant. Unpheasant sucks. I used to have, like, a, the p -Dub line on, like, my early team in my playthrough as, like, a teenager. Before I realized how bad it actually was. All I wanted was the mullet, and it fucked me over. The flying types in this game that you can get early on are just not good. Well, in Black and White 1, you have Crobat here, but eh. Yeah. Which Crobat is actually really good. And fun fact, on a certain day on Route 4, in Black 2 and White 2, you can get either Mandibuzz or... Uh, Braviary. Or, or Braviary. I, I forget which are in which game. Coil. <sighs> if memory serves me right, Bravey are either it's their version exclusive or the opposite. So Bravey would be might like be white the two. Yeah, I think Bravey is white two exclusive. Um, where's this encounter? Uh, it's in Route Four. Uh, it's a static encounter. Route Four, Unova Bird. Unova Bird. Special encounters. I think Dr. Okay. Raid is about to evolve. Oh my god, I was... Holy shit. Hmm. Um, so you know how I said Braviary was white too? Mm hmm And Manibuzz was black? That's exactly how it is. Huh. I have no idea how I remembered that. Amusingly, the day of the week is different for each game. Monday is on white too, and Thursday is black too. If we're this strong, we? No, 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 Hugh. There is no we. I smoked you. Oh, without a doubt, you there, there, there is no if we're this strong. No. I'm the star of the show. I'm winner. I'm the video game boy. I'm the one who wins. Keep helping me out. I haven't seen you since Driftvale. Right? You know that was two episodes ago, and like, a month ago. It's been so long that the season has changed. Right? Like, good god. And we're like halfway through it. Did I tell you Kane followed my main TikTok? I think you did share yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. Here's the- it came out of nowhere. <laughs> Cause like, okay. One more- I'm getting ready for my shower. So I'm like, you know, in a bathrobe chilling. Because, you know, executive dysfunction. I'm like, who are you? I'm really TikTok. The longest road in Unova. I heard it's Route 13. And, um... I don't think that's right. Good question. Maybe it is. Maybe it is not. We don't know. Bum! I... <laughs> so I'm, like, going through someone's TikTok account. Because I follow an artist on TikTok. And I, I like their art. So I, I rewatch their stuff a lot. It's just like one of those things. And um then I get an notification at the top of my screen. Uh Kane Roberts followed you. I'm like, what? Cause hmm. I was on my main account, I'm not on the fan page. I was like, what what? Cause he already he already followed the fan page ages ago. So I was like, what huh? What huh? <laughs> this is my path! 
No, it isn't. My path now. This, this is my path. My patch of earth. I claim it. I, I'm gonna kick sand in your face, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's sand. Just... <laughs> it's... <laughs> I don't know why, just the idea of just... Like... <laughs> of just having, like, a secret weapon being... Okay, Fucking but I have sand. a secret weapon, sand, in someone's <laughs> face is just so funny. Like, oh my god. Like, I would unironically love to have a pocket full of sand at all times, just so I could throw it at people. I would, I would unironically do that if I was attacked. It is playing dirty, but who the fuck cares? Right. If you're getting fucking attacked in public, most cases, it's someone fuck. It's probably gonna be someone swinging up on you. Like, essentially, if someone wants to fight me, I'm playing fair. Go fuck yourself. Right. Plus, in the case where Dale Gribble you pocket sand, he's the one who fucking instigated it. So, like, even if you start the fight, you can still use it. Like, see, I have the strength to defend myself at this point. Like, I'm- I've always been capable of carrying a decent weight. Even, like, when I was, uh, 14, um, I was carrying 40-pound uh, bags of pellets up Jesus and down my porch. Jesus Christ. I've never been particularly that- like, I've always been very skinny and scrawny, but I don't think I was particularly that weak. If I was lugging around a fucking 40 pound bag of pellets, I had to do multiple. I think. I think at some point I may have fucking carried two bags at once for the hell of it. It was difficult, but that would be 80 fucking pounds. I'm not particularly strong, but I can definitely hold my weight in a fight. Yeah. I'm Plus, also like, fucking comes... insane and don't believe in the idea of fighting fair, so take that as you will. Yeah. Oh, dude, I would bite somebody. I'll bite someone in a fight. I do not care. You're gonna lose a chunk of your fucking arm, motherfucker. Start shit with me, get bit. Like... <laughs> She's so ugly, I love her. Amazing. <laughs> She's so she ugly. She looks like if you pushed her down the stairs, she would look like a slinky. <laughs> <laughs> she would sound like an accordion. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. But now that I've been, like, you know, doing this bodybuilding thing, I've been able to carry more as well. I've been able to do and deal with more weight. Like, um,. My mother and I went to Target to pick up a new microwave. They bring out, like, the microwave box on this, like, kind of, like, uh, cart thing. I haven't seen because an auto since part three. Like, I guess the microwave was too heavy for most people to pick up. Hmm. And, you know, one of the workers at Target is, like, kind of stand there. And... I look down at it, and I'm just like, I could probably figure this out myself. I do. Hmm. The main issue was getting a grip on it, but I was able to lug it into our shopping cart with no real issue. And I scared the shit out of this fucking target worker. She's like, do you need help? I'm like, oh no, I've got it. And I did. I did get it. So, I don't know how much it weighed or anything, but clearly the target workers were not capable of lugging it around that much. Hmm. Cause see, I would have fucking just carried it to the fucking tart, like the shop, like the customer, and been like, here you go, I'll put it in the cart for you. Hmm. They'll be like, well, why? Why are you doing that? It's like, I can carry it. Hmm. I'm not particularly strong. But I am stronger than people would give me credit for if you, like, just looked at me. Yeah, I think I that would apply to me when I was younger as well. Because I have, like, very thin arms. 
but I can carry a surprising amount. Like, not yeah. a ton. But, um, well, to put this into perspective, I walked home across a busy road with two things of cat litter last night, so clearly, that was like 46 pounds. Damn! And I didn't just cross the road by walking either, I, I just bolted. It killed my <laughs> arms, and I'm still feeling it, but I can do it. I shouldn't like... have done that, though. With me, like, I was lugging up these fucking, uh, bags of wood pellets. During, um, colder months as well. That's the thing. Hmm. We weren't stocking up on these pellets during, like, spring and summer. Because they're stupid fucking, they were wicked fucking expensive during that season. Once it's winter, it's a lot cheaper. So... I do not understand Soul Rock or Lunatone at all. But they are funny looking. But, um, so as a result, I was lugging these up, you know, in the cold. I would have a sweatshirt on, obviously. But, like, you know, maybe a pair of boots if there was snow. Hmm. So I was, like, going up, like, snowy, icy porch with bags of pellets. I never really fell or... I didn't fall off that porch, but I've sure fallen off this fucking porch a hmm. good four times. I've counted. It's hard to forget. One time I was, um... Okay, when I clean the ferret cage, I have to take the trash of it out immediately. Because, you know, it's a very strong smell yeah. that most people in this house would not like or appreciate. I could tolerate it. Not that I would want to. Heh. <laughs> um... MOST BREEDABLE! <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. But, um, you know, I take it out. It's snowy. I'm like, ah, fuck. I don't need boots. I could walk in the snow barefoot. Mm. Well, feet do not have the ample traction to deal with the ice. So I fucking slipped and landed pretty much on the stairs of this porch. It's a wood porch, obviously. Middle of the night. Can't that kill you? Like, uh, like, you know, stepping out barefoot into the snow? I mean, in theory, probably. But I, I could tolerate it. <laughs> like, like, I wasn't wearing a jacket or anything. I just went out. Like, I was wearing a sleeveless shirt, hmm. as I always do. Uh, tight pants, which are not very thick anyway, because they're just cotton. And, you know, no shoes, just barefoot. I slip on the porch, I land on the stairs. The thing is, is I'm sitting- I can't sit there that long. Hmm. Like, my fucking heel is numb because, like, you know when you, like, like, scrape on a stair like that and you're- you can't feel your heel for a bit? Ouch, yeah. That. Ouch. It wasn't just ice, it was, like, ice and snow. Hmm. So I have snow on- I had to get up immediately. I had no- I couldn't be stunned. I think the adrenaline must have kicked in I'm for me to be able to do that. I'm just thinking about that. That is- that's- that's awful. So I got up, I fucking get my ass over to the trash bin, I throw it in, I get back inside. And I have to be, like, extra careful on the stairs. Yeah, my feet are kind of hurting by this point because of the cold. Because, yeah, I'm pretty much walking on ice. Hmm and cold fucking concrete, and snow. So I get back up, I get inside, and I kinda like dust myself off. Yeah, I close the door and everything, lock it. I go, I look at my mom who's upstairs, and I go, I just fell off the porch. <laughs> and she's like, what? Like, I fell, I fell off the porch. <laughs> I didn't wear boots. Thought I could probably get away with it. Cause here's the thing, if I hadn't slipped, nothing would have been eventful about this, other than the fact that I went outside barefoot in the snow, which I've done numerous times anyway. Is he on Levitate yet? I'm curious. Is it only Probably. Electros? Yes. That's I think it's the whole line. I think it's the whole line. Is it? Pretty sure. Let oh. me look at Tynamo. Every time it's snowed, I've actually fallen off the porch. 
I've also fallen off the porch a couple of times where it wasn't snowy. Um, the whole line has levitate. The whole oh. line. Oh. You know what? Maybe it's time for Bojiden to be replaced with uh, the legendary. Cobalion. Yeah. It's been What's fun. Funny? But. Wow, shiny Electros kicks ass. It's like green. Why did I use Electro Ball? Good question. Why the. Okay. The fact that. <laughs> the fact that I got a crit is kind of funny, though. That is actually kind of funny. I'm gonna <laughs> skip. a lot of damage. I'm gonna skip the trainers and just try to get Cobalion. Um. Yeah. Because, like. And what then battle all the trainers. Yep. What time do I have to sleep room? if I'm to wake up at? I'm supposed to wake up at nine thirty. Um. Ouch. That's like. <laughs> yeah, this is already enroaching on some sleep. Nah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I could run on like six hours or so, six five hours of sleep. Hmm. It's just to do some driving practice and go shopping. Hmm. So it's not. I'm. I'm gonna be the one driving home this time. I'll be fine. Cause it's like, you know, I can run on a low amount of sleep. Here's the thing. Um, now, with me, I can run on a small amount of sleep if need be. I have done a day on three hours of sleep, no nap or anything. Cause I don't really do naps that often. Hmm. For me, I would Which, say five to six hours is like the ideal point for me. Yeah, I like to get six. I like to get seven or eight hours. Of sleep. It's like six hours is fine. I can do it. But I don't like. Here's my thing. My problem is that I could sleep the whole day away and still be tired. It's a problem. Hmm. I think it's the chronic stress that my parents do not believe I have because I'm unemployed and have a. Well, maybe if you people were bearable, I wouldn't be stressed all the time. But you know. Like, because, like, I can survive on very minimal sleep. Yeah. I went through I just my whole don't. high school, my sophomore year on four and I was getting sick all the time. Alive, running on four hours of sleep constantly. So, you know, I mm. wasn't dead. I've done a day on three hours of sleep. I was grumpy about it, but like after the initial, I, I was cool. Which was mostly because we went to my uncle's house because he was giving my sister a car and I got to see the doggies. I will say though that as I get older, I am appreciating sleep more and more. With me, it's like, sleep is something that is a blessing and a curse. Because here's the thing. Um, I... The main reason that sleep annoys me is because, well... I can't get anything done when I sleep, and that's my main problem with it. Exactly. Hi, Kabaleon. Like, I remember Kay and I were talking about sleep stuff. Here's the thing. Kane has the complete opposite issue from me. Um, he actually cannot sleep for a long period of time for some he'll hmm. go to sleep at like let's say he sleeps at like midnight he'll wake up he could very well wake up at one in the morning and not be able to go back to bed after that is a is an issue and this music i love this <laughs> legendary theme so much it's so good it's amazing Level 45. Oh, wow. I, I, I thought it was 42. I'm not going to lie. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, the quick ball. Do you think it'll bam. work? Well, we're about to find out. Probably not. I'd be hey, surprised know. if it did. Damn. Did you? Save states are amazing. Keep it. If this has a bad nature, I'm gonna fucking scream. I think it re-rolls every time that you enter the battle with it. 
So you could pretty much shiny hunt it like this. Wouldn't it be really funny if I got it as a shiny? You'd have to save state at that point. You'd have to save state right there and just keep resetting until you get it. I mean, I did save state. But yeah, but you'd have to save state within that battle so you don't get shiny. Mm. Like, from the moment you see it's shiny, you just make a save state and then... Oh, right. Then it won't be re-rolled. No, I'm not- no, I'm not gonna shiny hunt. No. That's, that's a but, waste of my time. Right? But, if you happen to get a shiny on accident... Okay, I'm gonna actually try to catch it this time. The quick ball's not gonna work, but I might as well try to use it. Hey, you never know. I uh, wish that worked. I wish it worked. I can paralyze it, though. Ah. Or I can at least Whoa. try to paralyze it. Uh, you fucking idiot. Use helping hand. Yes, thank you. That does absolutely <laughs> nothing. This is amazing. Paralyzed. Good. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think anything else is gonna do more damage. But we could we could try we could try electro ball. Yeah, it probably won't do that much. But I'm probably- I, I don't think I'm that much faster than it, so it's- <gasps> WHAT?! NO SHOT! <laughs> NO! <laughs> Are you fucking- No fucking way. That is actually insane. What the fuck? You always Imagine get crits it. when you don't need them, you never get them when you do. That that is Pokemon in a nutshell. I should try to quick ball at least. That would have been funny if it worked this time. Eh, uh, that would have been, huh? Yeah. <gasps> I keep expecting Paralyze to it. get crit. Uh oh, that's a problem. What? Why would you do that? Oh, that's why. <laughs> I regret nothing. You ever wish that humans had tails? Yes. I want a dude, tail. Exactly! Exactly! You understand! Like, there's so many moments where I'm just like, if I had a tail, it would be wagging right now. I can feel it. Same. <laughs> like, it is insane. Like, you why couldn't have we. Dumbass. Like,. Why couldn't have we evolved from, like, lemurs, you know? Mm. Then we could have had tails and, like, cool fur. <laughs> I want to be cat. I want to be a creature. I almost made my fursona on a lemur, and then I was like, I want paw pads. Hmm. It was so stupid. But the tanuki is a thing at this point. I- I've made art of it. I've made art of the Persona design already, like, I have, like, a little rough reference. And also some art, which is surprise birthday art for Kane, because guess what, he's totally cool with the furry thing. Hmm. We have never discussed it in depth, but one day, I post on my Instagram story, like, it was the Gorilla Glue logo, where it was like, um, the Gorilla Glue logo looks like it's advertising gorillas and not Gorilla Glue. And I said, if I drew this with Kane, I- it would be so fucking funny if I drew the furry Kane design this. He saw it, put a like on the story, meaning he totally read it. Wouldn't he it is be like, funny if a quick ball worked at like turn number 20 something? Right. I'm saving, I am saving the timer balls because they're going to be really useful if this drags on. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. If it was to shake once, that would have been so good. That would have been funny. <laughs> like, one shake, and that's it. Uh, Heal ball. I'm hopeful. Can we, have, can we have a critical capture? What? I don't think I have enough <laughs> Pokemon for a critical capture to be particularly calming, because it depends on how, on how much you have in the box. Are you? I are you serious? Yeah? 
I didn't know that. I thought it was random. Nope. Oh. <laughs> I know there is a baseline, but I believe it does, like, depend... I believe it does heavily increase on how much you have in the box, and, uh, I've not been catching anything. Note to self. Uh, do that more often. Maybe make an active effort to catch everything in the area. Hmm. Maybe. That, that way, I will make a crit chance happen more. Yay! If I end up playing a, if I end up playing a X and Y after this, I may try to do that. Yeah, because then critical captures will probably Ooh. help us a lot. Wait, it's night. I could use the dusk ball. Oh yeah! If, if this works, that'd be funny. Oh. The, the dusk ball probably has the highest chance of working. True. Like it's probably better than than the than the timer ball at like turn fifty. Yeah. So I think the timer ball maxes out at turn fifty. I think we're in like thirty something. Okay. Nice. <laughs> hmm. Uh. Uh. <laughs> As you're trying to find a nickname for it, I just hear Alice Cooper the song going, Ugh. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably rename it. I just didn't have anything. What is a nature? <laughs> okay, that works. That is perfect. Holy I would've, shit. I would have preferred more attack, but I'll take it. Better than nothing. Like, special attack being lower is the best that could be. Right, hey, you can never go wrong with more defense anyway. True. I still would have preferred more attack, but I can get that up. Artificially. Yeah. Yay, new Kyle Lover from Frailis Comet. I, I, I have enough money to buy a ton of proteins. So oh, yeah. I can just do that. And I can get more money easily by, uh... By... Destroying birds. The power of three. Oh, my fucking god, no. Oh, god. I forgot how much they amped up the triple battles in Black and White 2 versus the first game, because you didn't run into them very often in Black and White 1. And here, they, like, really wanted to utilize them for some reason. Right, like... Two water types, amazing. You know what? Let's just destroy everyone. All right. Get obliterated. That was like the best target. <laughs> that was like the best target Magnezone could have had. Okay, I know because it was between multiple targets, it split the power, but why? Come on, man, why did right. Polarion have to live? Right, get out of here. Luckily, there's not a lot left to do on this route, so we're not gonna go too much longer, but still. Yeah. I definitely would have preferred more attack, though. Yeah. Like again, Rev like again, it's not bad, but I'm not as big on tank strategies. Ah, uh, yeah. I've always been more of an offense type person, but my logic is also like, oh, if I have higher defense, then I can still dish out more hits regardless. So However, I can live a little longer. I guess it does serve as a decent counter to Crocodile, who has no defense. Yeah. Just in general. Which is obnoxious.
And plus, I can just get its attack up. So, meh. Not a shiny. Well, Bo Jiden was one of the earliest members of the team. But unfortunately, it had to go. Yeah. I think it was about to learn Aura Sphere as well. Oh so, my god. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. You made a fucky fucky Jolteon. Hey, Jolteon. Have I shown you it's Pokemon Yellow Sp Hmm? Have I shown you Jolteon's Pokemon Yellow Sprite? I mean, I did play Pokemon Yellow back on the 3DS in the day. It's the funniest fucking thing ever to me. So, I- so, like, I have seen it. It is really funny. <laughs> Let me t <laughs> Why does it look so- it's like a menace. My favorite Gen 1 Sprite is, uh... Pidgey. From the Japanese version. Oh, hold on. let me look this up. You get a live reaction. Japanese Pidgey. Red and green. Sprite. It's so ugly. I don't want Pidgey, I want Pidgey. Fuck off. God, if this fucking download thing can get out of the way so I can see what I'm typing, that'd be lovely. The sprites of red and green are just really funny. His they don't look anything like they do in later games. Alright, here we go. Come on, Volpia, load the sprites. It's like, see the red and green location thing? Maybe if I just tap it. That's his back sprite. Fuck! That, come on, load, you stupid motherfucker. This goddamn site. Mm. Not very mobile friendly. <laughs> it's amazing. It's so silly! <laughs> it just looks like a normal. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Yeah, they didn't pin down the art style at that point just yet. No, they didn't. It was only once Pokemon Yellow came around that- Because this Pokemon Yellow sprite looks normal. Looks like Pidgey. Well, actually, the back sprite is the same among all of them, and that's just too funny. Mm. So its back sprite is objectively still that stupid realistic bird look? <laughs> Stupid as in, it looks I, stupid looking. I'm a fan of Mr. Stu Dio. I forgot about that. Nobody is a fan of Mr. Stu Dio. Just like nobody is a fan of Baggin. Baggin? Baggin. I got I got to see that reaction again. Still so funny. Baggin. So many... It's home menu. <laughs> <laughs> There's what well, I got to see the overcool reaction again. So where you threaten to uninstall the game. <laughs> I I would love just a highlight reel from that playthrough. I made part of one and then I forgot about it for for like two weeks. Oh my god. That's basically every time I try to actually make something, I just forget about it. Like I've been tempted to try my hand at it myself. Cause it's like Sure, like, all those videos would eat at my storage, but I wouldn't have to keep them on my laptop after the compilation is done. Hmm. All I'd have to do is, like, you know, just make it, render it, you know, then, boom. Angie. Ace Trainer, why, Angie. Why was there a space after her name? I don't know. Did you notice that? There's a space after her name. That exclamation point was a little too far. I what did. I don't get it. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? Did they, like, forget an E? Did, did the- was there supposed to be an E there? 
I think it might have been, yeah. I think it was supposed to be Angie, but they forgot That's... the E. That is so fucking fun. I don't know how I caught that. Uh, never change, Game Freak. Never change. Although, from what you currently are, please change. Right. Like, please. I've realized that, um... Um... I've witnessed, like, the end of, like, an era, sort of, like, happen. Hmm. Cause, like, okay. I could just... Oh, there we go. It's a short caption, but whatever. I haven't posted near enough to the fan page today. It's just one of those days where I just didn't think to post. I think Kane understands. Every time it happens, I'm just like, oh god, what does he think? And then he's, like, totally fine with it, obviously. Oh, poor boy. Star piece. Sell, yeah. Sell high. Sell high. All right, we have these two. And this bitch. Money for treasure. Oh boy, a blue flute. That does nothing for me. Right. The flutes only do shit in ruby and sapphire and emerald and... Oh. And that's yeah, it. The, yeah. I don't, think, I don't think they do anything in uh, auras either. Amazing. The creation of but, Pokeballs um... made it possible for everyone to be a Pokemon. Yes. Oops. Everyone. Why... Why end it like Wait. that? Right. But, um, so... With... With musicians, there's generally, like, eras that you can cut their career. Like, let's say, for example, um... Kiss. Um... The Dynasty era is different from the Revenge era. Hmm. Which is, like, marked by the album release and all that. So it's like, um, with this example that now I'm mentioning, it's like, oh, I realized that I've witnessed the end of an era. I witnessed the end of Kane's era for the new normal, which I feel like is marked by his return to Alice Cooper's band. Because his eras are a lot more complicated because of how he has been throughout his career. Like, let's start. Here, here's the eras, right? So the, there's there's the pre Alice Cooper era, which has its own eras within it, but the umbrella term for it is the pre Alice Cooper era because that was before he joined the very first time in the. Then there's the Alice Cooper era, which kind of ties into his first album era. Those are pretty much one and the same, because how that happened was his first album released while you know, Raise Your Fist and Yell was going on. Like, same year, within a week of each other, those two albums released. So, that's pretty much one and the same. Raise Your Fist and Yell era, Robert's era, album era. Yeah. Then there's the Saints and Sinners era, which was, like, 1991. I like until, that. like, I say... I like how this yeah. guy attacked me because he lost a fish. Yeah. Which I mean, hey, reasonable enough. <laughs> like hmm. fair fair enough. <laughs> um but like Saint Sisters era kinda ended in 1992, because by the time 1993 it's like writing more than was like I'm done with the music industry, goodbye. So I guess technically it kinda ended more in 1993 ish, but you know. And then, from like 1993 up until 1996 is a hiatus. Which, in terms of like anything happening, pretty much as far as anyone was concerned, he was- And I say 1996 because of the Lords of Tantra's release. 
That was a that's a very short and sweet era. I would consider that a one year era. And then after that, it's more the hiatus. Hmm. So you know, hiatus part two because it's 1996 to 1999. I so it's like the whole Phoenix Down era, and that lasts up until. 2000 because a Japanese edition for Under a Wild Sky released in 2000, which you know had the bonus tracks and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, then Flash FX is 2001 to like 2003 because he was working on that during that time, and then Touched came up, and that lasts from like 2003, not 2006 as most people think, 2003 because he started work on it on 2003 with the first song being a song called What's Wrong, which would have later. Um, then it would end, like, pretty much 2011, because that's, like, breaking into the Unsung Radio era mm -hmm. with Firefest, which I'm not going to cover in depth, because Kane is not happy with Firefest's performance, um, as I've mentioned. Unsung Radio is pretty much... Up until 2016. I would consider 2016 up to 2022 the new normal era, where he was working on and had released it. It was advertising it and was the, that was his like main focus of things. Hmm. Now you may question, oh, why is up to 2022? That's because he was working on new music, but you know, the new normal has still been actively promoted. Do you so then, twenty twenty, yeah. Shouldn't this be an evolution of Love Disc, dude? Right? It should be. Why isn't it? It's like so. Like the design is so perfect for it. It feels like it would have been if Black and White One were allowed to have older Pokemon. But because yeah, exactly. it wasn't during the main game, they just made it its own thing. Yeah, it's very strange. Oh well. On to Lacanosa. Halfway to the city that the next gym is in. Right? Like, holy shit. We've been at this for but, two and a half hours. Right. And then, um, with 2022, that's when he rejoined the band. And I think that's where this current era stands. I don't have a name for it, though. That's the thing. There's no name for this era. It's strange. Because it's like, you can't just call it the Detroit Muscle Era, because the Detroit Muscle Tour is over. Let me go. <clears throat> Just let me go. I wanted to go to the Pokemon Center and save. Right, please. It's 3 a.m. Playing Pokemon Black 2 at 3 a.m., guys. The Among Us potion? <laughs> Have you heard that? <laughs> no. Oh my god. Mm. Now I have to find mm. now I have to find this. The ones who want to hear about the about that old tale about like Canosa Town. I don't know, what is a very strong word. I was kinda dragged yeah. here against my will. Please tell us. And like Canosa Town giant hole, giant chasm, they eat people, yada yada. <laughs> I've heard that around the giant chasm. There have been brief temperature reasons of reasons. What the fuck? The Reasings. That's a new one. Readings of negative 58 degrees. That's what Sharon told me. That's what he told me, too. Massive coincidence. Giant chasm created. Big meteorite. Scary Pokemon hidden. A meteorite. When darkness falls over land, that Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. Freezes everything and eats people and Pokemon. Is this boar? I don't know. <laughs> so everyone was afraid. Pokemon eight. Right, I, I found the clip. Everyone's gonna see this and be like, "Why is she sending this?" <laughs> this is just one of those stupid videos. Those stupid like three a.m. videos. It's a what? clip from one of those things. The Among Us potion. What yeah, <laughs> like I'll, I'll probably watch that those. in a minute. It's so stupid. The it's so Among silly. Us potion. It's gonna turn us into Among Us, and we'll be forced to kill each other. 
<laughs> I'm so assuming it's what it says. It, is a, it turns into the imposter. <laughs> like, specifically. It's like, good god. A mogu. A mogu? A mogus goose. Among Us was always funny. Changed my mind. For a long time, I did not think it was funny, and then I came once people started calming down on it. To prevent Pokemon from getting inside the town, a rule was made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. I feel like that's very difficult to enforce. Especially right? uh, during the COVID pandemic where there was a curfew. Uh, nobody followed it. I should know because I didn't. <laughs> right. I had no choice but to follow it because, you know, I don't go anywhere anyway. Great to, you know, I, um... Okay, technically I, I, I followed it, but if I had the choice, I totally wouldn't have. Right, I, I, you know, I wore a mask, you know. I which just... my dad has made fun of me for. Okay, like, I got the social distancing. What the fuck does a curfew do? That, that's yeah. just a fucking power grab. Fuck off. Like, the social distancing and the masks, yeah, n yeah, no shit. No shit that's gonna decrease the spread. What the fuck does preventing people from being outside of their homes after a fucking certain time do? Right, so come the fuck on. It's the same fucking problem when these cities put in curfews, af you know, during the other thing that happened in 2020, uh, that cause a lot of people to get justifiably angry. The, 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 uh, the, uh, the renewed vigor regarding, uh, uh, regarding, uh, uh, regarding, uh, unequal treatment by police. Um, oh, right. Okay. Yeah. I was like, uh, I was trying to figure out like, what the fuck is a curfew going to do? If your goal right. is to prevent people from rioting, they're gonna riot anyway! Right. You're not keeping like, people safe either. You're just going for a power grab. That is right. all that does, in my opinion. It. Oh, dude, without a doubt. Which, to be fair, you could tell it's exactly what they were wanting. Ah. Uh, my grandma loves old stories. I'm always having to listen to her really long stories. You don't sound very enthused, man. I'm not gonna lie. If it's night, right. she'll fall asleep right in the middle of, the, of a story. Oh, she's one of those grandmas. Oh, no. Um. What's funny is that, um, I know in, uh, LA and California, to try to cut down on crime, there's a curfew in place. That is pathetic, but it's also Los Angeles, so... Yeah. Which That's I know because of Kane. I know specifically because of Kane. And he says that he pushes it by staying out, like, pretty much as late as he can without crossing the limits. So, like, within, like, a minute of the limit, pretty much. Um, so there's too much crime. So we're just gonna inconvenience literally everybody. And the, the criminals will just stay home. The criminals right, will like, just stay home. They're not Wait, gonna they break the law. Yeah, they're they're criminals. Our curfew they would is never. airtight. Or it's like good Fucking god, idiots. That is the most California way to deal with crime, ever. <laughs> right. At least Kane says he lives in a nice neighborhood. Which I mean, to be fair, he has money. Yeah, he has money. I... He can afford to do that. Yeah, exactly. Here's the. I always forget this. One day he was telling me about you know where he lives. Um, and there's crackling. Although, brief, oh my brief god. crackle. I hate this fucking thing sometimes. Although, I will say, a nice neighborhood in LA it would be a fucking mega mansion here in Texas. Yeah. And it's funny because it's an apartment. It's a story apartment, but an apartment. $4,000 a month. <laughs> yeah, I would imagine. Because, okay, Kay and I were talking about, uh, he said he could probably afford, like, a nice big house in, like, somewhere like Arizona. But the reason he doesn't is because he doesn't like having to deal with, like, the burst, like, A, like, burst pipes or anything like that. Mm. 
Yeah. Which makes sense. He is a busy man. Yeah, and to he has be to work fair, a lot. Yeah, and to be fair, he probably has a lot of contacts in a, in a in a in a LA. E yes. So he, like, it's oh, he very much just, does. It's probably just really convenient, which makes he, sense. Yeah, which led into me telling him a story about my childhood, which is really funny. In my second house in Maine, um. Because, you know, Kane specifically mentioned Burst Pipes, I was like, that reminds me of a story. When I was living in Maine, um, second house in Maine, the pipes that we had were not in the walls. They were actually, like, kind of, like, on the bottom part of the wall. Hmm. Well, during winter, you're bound to have a pipe burst or two, you know? If shit freezes up. I have well, never had a pipe burst here, which <clears throat> is very odd, because Texas and infrastructure... Don't uh, go together. Um, are not things that are good. Yeah. Um, but like, I walked by, I walked it through my dining room in the second house in Maine. And <laughs> I don't know why I looked at the pipes. I think I may have sensed something was going to happen because I kind of looked over. Pipe burst right next to me. I didn't think to run forward or backward. I pinned myself against the wall. Purge go, Bob, help! <laughs> <laughs> so we had to get that, we fixed that up. It's so funny. Cause like, it was a very, you do this with Pokemon Christ too, I see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not the only one. One weird thing I did in like a car ride is that I had my DS up on loud and I was angry at my family. So I just turned <laughs> it up, I went into the Pokedex, and I just found the most annoying cry I could, and I just spammed it. What was it, though? I don't remember. I think it might have been Servine. Amazing. Which, it's not a very annoying cry on its own. But repeatedly. And then you spam it for, like, ten minutes. And everyone in the car wants to kill you. <laughs> and you want to kill everyone in the car. Because they pissed you off to begin with. That's so funny. And we're doing this again. Hey. Well, we're halfway to Opie Lucid City. There's a Team Plasma battle right outside. They're going to have to yeah. wait a day or so. Um, thank you all for watching. Uh, fuck you all. I hate every one of you. Goodbye. <laughs>